Hey friends, Inquisitive Margo here, and we are back with Chapter 2 of Dysfun Dysfunctional Systems, Learning to Manage Chaos. I like to not speak English well a lot. My apologies for that. I'll get better, I promise. I can write well, just not speak well. Uh, alrighty. So we have just entered the bar. Okay, brace for it. No amount of alcohol-tinged breath could be enough to prepare me for a bar smell, surely. So I guess she's used to people around her, uh, drinking alcohol. I accidentally touched my mic. My apologies. Mother always talks about how awful bars are and how that's why she only ever drinks at home. So that was her mom. Sweaty and piggish and smelling like failure. This can only lead to misery. Slowly I part my fingers over my nostrils. It does not smell at all. Cut that out, Winter. You look ridiculous. Hey, leave me alone. I've been misled. Slowly I put my hand down, not without glaring at Cyrus. He ignores this, of course, and walks over to an empty table to have a seat. He then pats the top of the chair next to him, inviting me. Well, whatever. I follow his lead, still curious of this place. Notice how there's only a few people here, although it's lunch hour? What do you imagine that means? Most of the people here really like to work? Or maybe they really have to? Well, it's probably a good thing that this place is so empty. Too many customers might be a bit overwhelming for you. It can also make it rather difficult to actually find out anything. I see. There are only four other people in the bar besides us, all of whom are our men and all thrice my age by the look of it. The two who seem to be the customers are dressed in rather rough manner, like they've walked out of a construction site. I'm not the type to pride myself on appearance or anything, but I actually feel slightly embarrassed for them. They aren't the first in this world who look so deplorable, though. In fact, I would say they look fairly good by comparison. Most people I've seen look like they've... Uh, like they picked their outfits from a pile of rags. <clears throat> Thankfully, the other two, both in uniform, are very presentable. The waiter, or he's probably the waiter, looks rather spiffy, and the man behind the counter is quite cleanly dressed, so this world is not entirely hopeless. But enough about men in clothes, the wall behind the counter is far more interesting. There are two lengthy rows of wildly varying bottles, some round, some square, and some outright peculiar. Admittedly, I am enticed. Only for a second, I assure you. After all, I have been told that alcohol tastes like piss. <laughs> his frown! <laughs> oh god, his frown. Well, I wouldn't know myself. I've never tried it. What? You've never tried alcohol? No. Piss. <laughs> she frowns back. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. It isn't the best until you get used to it. That aside, I've also been told that it makes you act like a twit. Did you mean to say twit? Causes bouts of forgetfulness and slowly po poisons your liver. Liver. Mm, that is true, to a point. Eventually, you will become addicted to it. Not everyone does, but there's a possibility. Then why drink it? Some people enjoy losing control over themselves. And many love to forget. You'll see for yourself, and be able to form your own opinion soon. I would rather not. <sighs> Honestly, I am more than fine with following the popular opinion. It is often correct and has saved me a lot of trouble in the past. While my thoughts wander to safer days, the man who I believe is the waiter comes to our table. What can I get you? Two beers and a brandy you'd like. Coming right up! When he departs, I find myself curious about two things. Firstly... I have to drink two beers? No, one is for me. 
Why would you want to drink one? Why would you want to drink one? Hold on, how do I... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Why would you want to drink one? Oh, okay, I guess she's just asking why would you want to drink at all? Why would you want to drink one? I'm one of the people who enjoy losing a bit of control over themselves. I would not have pegged him as the sort. At any rate, the second thing... What is a brand, sir? Does it have something to do with fire and iron? Er... Pardon? Well, we used to brand cattle and other animals with a symbol that would be associated with their farm, right? That is, if I remember my history. Oh my god! How sheltered is this girl? Oh my goodness. That was with fire and iron, so is this something similar? Your mother is an alcoholic. Er, <laughs> okay, maybe not an alcoholic, but she likes to drink a lot and at home. You would think that you would know something. I'm not saying something stupid, am I? Yes, you are. Is it how the alcohol is made, perhaps? Are the ingredients burned in some way before they officially beer? Maybe as some sort of spiritual symbol? They do call them sprites, after all. No, spirits. They do call them spirits, after all. There must be a reason for that, right? <laughs> His frown is only getting bigger. Like, this poor sheltered child. Why isn't he saying anything? Or it has something to do with real spirits? Like, some sort of rite where each batch is brewed in honor of someone who's died? I mean, I've read these places can be very strange, and... Am I close? Oh, please let me be close! No. No, you are not close. Crap! I should have shut up way earlier! Why did I ramble like that? Now I look like a fool! Honestly, though, I am a little disappointed. Some fantasy would be nice. Winter, I'm starting to think you've already gotten yourself drunk off the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, please. Here you go! The waiter has returned, bearing two tall and thick tankards foaming to the brim. Beer, right? I know more of vodka and wines. Oh, okay, so she knows something. One has a place in front of Cyrus, and the other is in front of me. Enjoy! He leaves. I peek over my cup's lip and peer into its mouth. The beverage does not take kindly to my curiosity, bubbling and spitting at me. I withdraw with a start. How intimidating. Sir? Don't be such a baby, it won't kill you. There'll be much worse things that you have to swallow than alcohol, trust me. Ah! Oh, I have a dirty mind. I don't know if any of you thought what I just thought. About having to swallow something much worse than alcohol. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. It sounds as though Cyrus is perfectly fine with bending over, should the situation demand it. Ingesting things like this? Ingesting things worse than this? Allow me to apologize, Cyrus, but I am not a wimp. I know where to draw the line. It is quite the opposite of weakness, really. It's strength. No one is going to be forcing me to do anything I don't agree to. That said, I did say I would drink some of this. Lifting the glass with both hands, I gingerly tip it towards my lips and take it a mouthful. <clears throat> oh, heavens! I do not want to drink this! I swish the liquid a bit as it mixes with my saliva and seems nearly, uh, vicious even. I want to wretch. This is simply the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Atrocious. It bullies the back of my throat with a sizzling, no, a burning sensation that has spread throughout my entire oral cavity. The ordeal lasts less than ten seconds before I stop thinking and just swallow it. <laughs> Oh, come on. Goosebumps ripple across my body and my eyes water. The beer drains down my esophagus, raising everything in its descent. 
<laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> Cyrus proceeds to drain half of his glass with a speed rivaling my mother's and an expression just as insensible. It amazes me that he can stomach it, and even more that he is willing to subject himself to it. Oh, this is pretty okay, actually. Best I've had in a while. You're joking. That was worse than I imagined piss to taste like. And the sensation! Everything about it is just, just disgusting! Honestly, I find myself at a loss for words here. This beverage is just nasty. Finish that glass and we'll move along. I am not finishing this. Do it. Do it. I mock him. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Oh my god. Oh, this is funny. Oh goodness, this is really funny. <coughs> oh, don't I get to suggest to do it though? I mean, aren't you, isn't the game gonna ask me, hey, am I gonna drink this or not drink this? I want her to be totally mentally against drinking it, but I want the option to keep drinking it just so she can hate herself. <laughs> Don't take that tone. Just finish your glass. Finish my glass? I let my hands drop with gravity, my cup crashing onto the table. This? You want me to finish this? Then, Cyrus, who I am quickly losing respect for. I will drink this mug, and in fact finish it, if you do one thing for me in the future. Pardon? It isn't loud in here, Cyrus. I know you heard me. Well then, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. His face, he's just... Alright, what do you want? Nothing now. The future is not now. Now is the present. The future is later, and I will tell you then. Hmm. You're sure you're not drunk, Winter? Hush. <laughs> Fine. And that was her thing in the future. He will hush. You'll have it your way if you have it mine, Winter Harrison. It is a deal you cannot break. Sir. With that, I drained my glass in a matter of seconds using a technique I have observed over the years. When I set it down, there is naught but suds. Cyrus is impressed. I am appalled. <laughs> so nasty. I squeeze my eyes shut and let the wave of warm and trembling feelings wash over me. Ugh. Mercy, Winter. That was something else. How are you feeling? I answer him with a stare and a shiver. <laughs> really? I shake my head. <laughs> ah! Honestly, now that the wretched experience is in in of an instant is over... What? I read that wrong. wrong. Completely wrong. Honestly, now that the wretched experience of an instant is over, I realize I was overreacting. While certainly vile does not seem to be immediately damaging, it looks like it will take more than one beer to impair my judgment. Either that or stuff's effects are simply delayed. I am fine, I think. Ah, you should be. Yes, I don't really... I realize I might have spoken too soon and suddenly I feel a bit... as though I am glowing? It's not a terrible feeling, and I seem to be myself, all is in order. I don't feel much different at all. Give it some time. You didn't really drink too much anyway. There usually isn't a whole lot of alcohol in beer. <sighs> Wonderful. Both my theories are true. Okay, so now what? Now we've been conversing. Cyrus discreetly points to a man in the corner. 
I'm going to go talk to that man. You take the one at the counter. Try bringing up work and go on from there. Oh, and of course, don't forget to keep where where you're where we're from and why you were here a secret. That kind of bartering chip shouldn't even be allowed to you kids. I'm going to talk to him alone? Well, yes. I think it would make him pretty uncomfortable to have both of us ganging up on him. Oh, I don't know about this. Don't worry. The bartender is right there, and I'm not far either. Nothing will happen to you. It's not that. I'm just not very good at talking to people. You're doing fine with me. You're my superior. <sighs> just go over there and give it a try. <sighs> fine. <laughs> I get out of my seat and immediately yank at the table's edge as the floor shifts. Oh, no. My knees quiver with fear and I firmly plant my feet, my heart thumping like I am about to die. Gracious, what was that? Did something happen? Have we failed? <laughs> Calm down, you're just a bit tipsy. Shut up. I pause. Tipsy. Oh, buzzed. Right, I am just... <laughs> oh, crap. Just get over there. I surprise myself, briskly taking strides to the counter. I find the act curiously challenging and amusing, each step I consider rather silly and shakiness, and I begin to wonder about how people learn to walk at all. It is not how my thoughts usually go, I think. I can't quite remember what I usually thought about right now. I am not drunk. I have an idea of what that is from looking, and this is not it. Ah, right, I am tipsy. Goodness, I'm unbalanced. I start slowly near the stools and suddenly break out in a cold sweat. I am not good with people. So what am I doing about to talk to this man? While I'm considering this, the order stop is not processed physically. I sit right down next to the gentleman as if it is the most natural thing in the world. And we are the oldest of pals. Strong ties, bonds formed from years of manual labor at the piers. I wonder how much alcohol I actually drank. Enough of this. Engage the man by his eyes. Yes. Like that. Like in the books. Hmm. This poor man. I'm gonna harass him. Lean forward and get closer. Look, Winter Harrison. Oh ho! Well, isn't he scruffy? That was an adorable way. His cheeks and chin are all dashed all over with stubble, and his eyes are soft and caring. He vaguely reminds me of my father, or of a father I knew. Not that it was mine, but a classmate's. I open my mouth and mentally say hello, but the order is again not actually processed. So I just hang my jaw and stare. <laughs> he notices. Hello there, miss. Ah, uh, hello. It is all I can do to say this. I fail to keep his attention as I return to the television above the bar. Do I get to select what we talk about? Do I... Do I get to interact with the game at all? Yeah, maybe. Soon. Quite possibly. Please. Television. That's right, they have that here. It seems to be a sports channel that he's watching. Not that I know which. I only know that it's a sport that there's a ball and there are people and they're both on the field. Ah. Uh, it seems to involve only sculpted men. A particularly intimate sport. Football? Wait, I'm overthinking it. Though I do believe that most sports have a peculiar and exciting kind of subtext, this one I think I could particularly like to watch. You're a little young to be in here, aren't you? Yes, I am! I am 14! I should not be here! I, I'm here with my dad. Uh, uncle. My dad would never bring me here. 
my my uncle my uncle is here and brought me here while he's on break right mention work where is he I point to Cyrus who's now talking amiably am, am, amiably am, am, I'm an idiot amiably bleh, with an, uh, with the other man in the corner goodness such fast friends he is the younger, or ornery looking looking person. Did I say looking twice? Ornery looking person. There. The old man chuckles and I smile as though I've made a joke. Interesting word choice, girl. I read books. Not so? It is so. Very much so. I read a lot. Hmm. Is he celebrating the good news? Or maybe? Was there some news? Uh, yeah, I thought it minimum wage. Do I get to select li like it's a pop quiz? Do you mean the minimum wage increase, sir? Or oh, I don't. That's fine. Yes, great news, isn't it? He grins. I mirror him. It is. I'm glad. You working yet? This, um, yes, this is working that I'm doing. Granted, unpaid, I am learning. Yes, I just started a little while ago. I see. Well, welcome to the workforce, young miss. Have you gotten your first paycheck yet? N no, not yet. And my name is Winter. That should have been two sentences. Nice to meet you, Winter. I'm David. I've stopped speaking. I don't know why. It's almost as though anything I say won't make any sense, so I've shut up. He does not speak either. The quietness is getting to me. Isn't there something I can say? Anything? What can I say? No, I'm lost. This is a terrible feeling. Like I'm drowning in air. Think. Think. There must be something. What? You okay? Huh? Oh no. I'm panicking. He could tell. That's bad. Is it because of the alcohol? It was because of the alcohol. Um, I'm- yeah. Speak! So, d what do you do? Well, like, for your work, I mean. Uh, you know. Help out the wharf, head down to the mines, fit auto parts. That is amazing. <laughs> amazing. No, no. When you get older, you'll have to run multiple jobs, too. That's just the only way to survive these days. What about you? What do you do? Oh, crap! Oh, what do I do? Oh, why did I think something first? Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. I shut my eyes for a second and give a quick shake in my head. Uh, um, what do I do? I guess I could be technically uh, considered a... I'm a counselor. Oh, I. Okay. I'm a consoler. A counselor? I yes. Huh. Please let they be an acceptable job. Doesn't really seem like something that suit you. No offense or anything. I didn't really choose it. He gives me a somber nod of recognition. Yeah, you gotta take what you're given. <sighs> yes. I certainly feel miserable decide to lean on the counter. I rest my head, letting the fluff of my hair and sleeves serve as a pillow, and I look away from David. That's right. I didn't really choose this. I didn't really choose anything. As decisions came around, I just sat in my hands thinking. I don't know, thinking that something would come to me. In a sense, I suppose that something did, but it wasn't in the usual way. Everyone else knew what they wanted to do after secondary school, and I was stuck on the path of a freeder. A freeder, a step away from a leech. Ugh. I couldn't pick a specialty school. I didn't know what I wanted. School mediatorium, huh? 
What is this school? Why had I never heard of it, yet somehow my parents weren't surprised by the name? Why was I chosen? What's more, how? I never applied to this thing. Why did I even accept to go? I guess I was just happy that something had been found for me. And the system always knows best. I mean, it's not as though I dislike it. I find the classwork and homework more than bearable, and my first shadowing went okay enough. But, is this what I am? Is this what I meant to do? Oh, well, this is stupid. What am I thinking? <coughs> the oligarchy is infallible. They never make mistakes, therefore this must be what's right for me. Even if everything about it is totally weird. Kekol, what's my issue? This is better than what... This is better than what would have happened. When did I start caring about so much of my uh, direction? What am I thinking? I'm supposed to care about that. Still, why should I? How should I know the way to forge my life's path when I'm just 14? I don't even know what I'll be like in 8 years. I shouldn't have to care about this now. Alrighty. So our dear Winter is going through some kind of downworld spiral and emotional trip. All because she just drank like a cup of alcohol. Just some beer. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end this chapter here. In the next chapter, we're going to continue. And hopefully, we'll st I'll start actually interacting with the game. Making some choices, you know, choosing uh, my own lines. That would be uh, pretty cool. Alrighty, bye friends.